Hi, wrestling fans. Thanks for clicking today's Dread of D. Rose report. <clears throat> My good friend, Bobby, uh, the Brain Heenan, wrestling legend. He's going to be doing a rare meet and greet for Coastal Wrestling Federation on Saturday, uh, looked like 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in uh, uh, Lamarque, Texas. I guess at the National Guard Armory. And there's going to be an indie show that night also featuring, of all things, Garrett Bischoff. All right, now the reason I can say he's my good friend, he once gave me his home phone number, and then he took it back. As uh, noted before, I got a strange story coming up here about a Hall of, uh, son's Hall of Famer. Uh, noted before that Xavier Woods, he was on a mission to visit local video store, game stores, in each city that he visits while on the road with WWE. And uh, Rhodes, uh, Woods is... Uh, uh, He's got a new article on WWE.com about his recent visit to Game Underground in Farmington, Massachusetts. All right, Chris Jericho and Fozzie, they're going to be performing at uh, Rockville Fest in Jacksonville, Florida, April 26th with Alderbridge and uh, Avenged Sevenfold. The Bella Twins, they're going to be appearing at the NFL AM show this morning. Well, they were already on there, I guess, by the time you're saying this. Uh, discussing the Super Bowl and play a game of football toss. Well, anyway, uh, Nikki Bella slipped up and said shit on the, when she missed the throw. I don't know if they get getting any trouble for that. Whether it's live or not, I don't know. Hey, uh, the New York Post reports that NBC, this is a good story here, uh, NBC Universal is launching a physical WWE Hall of Fame at Universal Studios in Orlando is being considered as a part of the NBC pitch for WWE and a new deal that would keep WWE TV on NBC Universal Networks, which is sci-fi and you know all the other uh, channels that they got the WWE on. Anyway, NBC has um, until February 1st before their exclusive negotiation window ends, but uh, they also have the right to match any outside offer WWE receives from another company. Uh, you know, begins uh, uh, taking other bids, so they can. Uh, they got a, a big time. Well, they they're carrying a lot of networks there, so I don't know if WWE wants to mess with that or not. So, oh, of course they're after the money. And uh, WWE issues the following statement to the Post regarding their negotiations: "This is WWE is the hottest property on cable and has proven ratings juggernaut. Uh, however." Uh, we are in an exclusive negotiating window until the end of next week. So if you want us, come and knocking at the end of the week. All right, this is a strange story here. Now, as soon as I find out more on it, I'll let you know because there's something got to be behind this. Uh, ConnectArmadillo.com reports that Mike DiBiase, son of, uh, son of Ted DiBiase, WWE Hall of Famer, was recently... Uh, arrested just early yesterday morning, I guess, after a standoff with Armadillo police and uh, SWAT teams. According to APD, Armadillo Police Department, uh, the incident began around 11-12 Wednesday night after officers uh, officers decided uh, they, they had information that was given to them that a man was wanted for a parole violation was in the 3900 block of Northwest 12th. So I decided to go get him. <clears throat> I don't know whether it was a snitch involved or what, but anyway, APD said the suspect was reportedly inside a building where several businesses are located and that was uh, he was seen by an employee attempting to break through a wall between businesses. So I don't know if he was in the business trying to break through into another one or he was just, I'm not I'm just sure, maybe the employee was the one who called the police. I don't know. Uh, APD attempted to make contact with the suspect, uh, however, several attempts were unsuccessful and officers learned that the suspect may have access to weapons inside the building. Knowing that, uh, uh, knowing the escalated danger of the situation, SWAT and APD negotiators were brought in to assist in the situation. Well, anyway, APD was mobilized, a, they mobilized a remote control robot to uh, make its way through the building in an attempt to locate the sub suspect. I mean, if he's got something uh, uh, to shoot with, he'll probably try and, try and shoot the robot. 
Anyway, uh, DiBiase was eventually arrested after SWAT team entered the building around 5, 10 a.m., which is like five hours or so later, uh, and used chemical agents in an attempt to force him out of the building. Anyway, it was noted, uh, noted that uh, DiBiase was hiding under a pile of cardboard boxes. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking, but SWAT officers used a canine remote-controlled uh, robot and chemical agents to aid in their search for DiBiase. Something had to be going on there that uh, I don't think Pop was involved. We'll find out later. I don't know what kind of a business he was into either. But anyway, uh, note before that the filming of uh, season two of WWE Total Divas has apparently wrapped. Nikki Bella posted the following teaser about her relationship with John Cena. Still thinking about, she says. Uh, still thinking about things, but I miss him today. Oh. And as noted, the cast of Legends House, they were in Orlando last week to film some additional scenes for the show. Uh, and there's a photo of the group, minus Gene Okerlund. But anyway, they were dressed up for what could have been a reunion type show. So maybe that's a, something they're going to be following up uh, after the show airs, finally on the network. WWE's website has got a poll up asking fans to, who should induct Ultimate Warrior into the Hall of Fame this year. Should it be Vince? Should it be Hogan? Should it be Punk? Should it be H? Honky Tonk Man? Slaughter? Edge? Christian? Papa Shango? With over 30,000 votes cast, just about 60% was uh, Hogan. Uh, Vince and Punk both tied at 10%. <laughs> I don't know why Punk would be involved in that, but uh, now uh, uh, Steve Austin's latest interview with Diamond Dallas Page is now on his um, podcast. You can check that out if you've been listening to him. Uh, WWE's website recently spoke to Tensai about doing commentary work for NXT. Tensai talked about his goals for the future. He says, as far as my goals for the future, I hope to be a regular commentator on NXT. From there, I hope to be a part of a team called Raw or SmackDown. I would also like to be a trainer, producer for WWE at some point, and would like to set lofty goals and tackle them a day at a time. That a boy must have had his coffee that day when they were interviewing him. WWE's published the published a playlist of Hogan's wildest interviews. He used to be just cracked me up when I was a kid and uh, watching him. Uh, Goldust said he's no longer interested in fighting his brother Cody Rhodes. He tweeted, regardless of what someone comes up with uh, you know, in here, uh, I lost interest in fighting my bro. What happened? We're tight. We're the brotherhood. WWE's 2014 Extreme Rules pay-per-view is going to be taking place May 4th, Key Arena, Seattle, Washington. And fans are already speculating what the big plans uh, they're going to be having in store for Daniel Bryan and his home state. Coming out of WrestleMania 30. Big time celebration, hopefully. And wrestling legend, a little follow up here, Bobby Eaton uh, has been released from the hospital and he's been in and out for uh, weeks due to complications from diabetes and other issues. Uh, don't know whether he's going to go right away to rehab. Former WCW World uh, Champion, I hate to say that, Vince Russo, turns 53 years old today. Also, this would have been birthday, uh, 49th birthday of Mike Awesome and 72nd birthday of Gary Hart. And this is odd that WWE, after all these years, added Shane Douglas to their uh, alumni roster. Does that mean they've kissed and made up? Might have. All right, after uh, a day after he congratulated Batista on returning to WWE, Eric Bischoff congratulated Jim Ross on his new deal with Fox Sports. He says, uh, congrats, JR. Fox Sports is lucky to have him. Looking forward to hearing and reading more from JR. Uh, also, Jay Briscoe, Ring of Honor Tag Team Champion, turns uh, 30 years old. Uh, let's see. Also, this would have been the birthday. I was telling you about Mike Awesome would have been 49. Uh, and uh, famed manager Gary Hart would have been 72 years old. Secondly, a, uh, in 1997... One time, WWWF United States Tag Team Champion Dr. Uh, Jerry Graham died at the age of 75. In 2000, former WCW wrestler Bobby Duncan Jr. died at the age of uh, just 34 years old. And lastly, in 2004, Jack Tunney. I don't know if you guys watched 
WWE in the beginning when they were first on TV, he was on there all the time, sitting at his desk this way, talking to the camera. But anyway, uh, he was the figurehead WWF president during the 80s, uh, wrestling boom, and into the 90s. He passed away at the age of 68 years old. Thanks for clicking, you guys. I gotta go.